This tutorial will explore the use of guided notes and how to use this active learning strategy in your classroom. Guided notes are instructor prepared handouts that provide all students with background information and standard cues with specific spaces to write key facts, concepts, and or relationships during the lecture. Guided notes promote active engagement during lecture or independent reading, provide full and accurate notes for use as a study guide, and help students to identify the most important information covered. There are several benefits of using guided notes in your classroom. One is increased engagement. Guided notes increase students' active engagement with course content. To complete their guided notes, students must actively respond to the lecture's content by listening, looking, thinking, and writing. Guided notes take advantage of one of the most consistent and important findings in recent educational research. Students who make frequent, lesson relevant responses learn more than students who are passive observers. A second benefit of guided notes is improved student performance. Students who take accurate notes and study them later consistently receive higher test scores than students who only listen to the lecture and read the text. Guided notes can help level the playing field between students with and without good note-taking skills. A third benefit is that guided notes are inclusive, meaning they are efficient study tools for all types of learners and can be differentiated to meet the needs of students. Guided notes can also aid those with a visual and or hearing impairment. A fourth benefit of guided notes is increased retention. Students can more easily identify the most important information and therefore retain important information. Because guided notes cue the location and number of key concepts, facts and or relationships, students are better able to determine if they are getting the most important content. Here are a few steps on how you can implement guided notes into your learning environment. Step one is to prioritize. Decide what is most important for students to understand in the lecture or reading for which they will be taking notes. Step two is to create. Prepare a set of notes that contains the essential information from the presentation or reading. Underline or highlight the key concepts, facts, or information that students will be responsible for writing into the final version. Next, Replace those concepts with blanks for students to fill in. Step three is to explain. Prior to handing out copies of the guided notes in class, ensure that students understand their responsibility to fill in each of the blanks with the appropriate concepts, definitions, or other content to help them understand what they will be seeing, hearing, or reading. The fourth and final step is to review. Discuss the correct answers or any misconceptions with the class as the presentation progresses or after the reading. With guided notes, there are three different types that you can implement into your classroom. Highly supported notes strategically replace keywords in the document with some blanks. This provides a high level of scaffolding. You are able to limit the number of fill in the blanks at this level. Moderately supported notes strategically replace more keywords and phrases in your document with blanks. This provides a moderate level of scaffolding. Outlined notes eliminate most of the text so that you have a note taking outline. Outlines are best used with students who have learned how to summarize key constructs. When used properly, guided notes can provide a framework that students can review before a presentation or a reading and accommodate diverse learning styles. Guided notes can organize and enhance lecture content in any discipline or subject area. Guided notes help get students actively connected with classroom material by compelling them to pay attention and write down information.